One of the most powerful tools that we have to answer the mysteries of this universe is the Hubble Space Telescope, a giant eye in the sky that has been observing our universe for over three decades. But what if this eye suddenly goes blind? What if the telescope that has revolutionized astronomy stops working and can no longer send us amazing images and data? This is the situation that NASA is facing right now, as the Hubble Space Telescope has been offline since June 13, 2023, due to a problem with its payload computer. In this video, we will explain what is going on with this telescope, why it is so important for astronomy, and what NASA is doing to bring it back online. We will also discuss the possibility of a private servicing mission to reboost or repair it, and the challenges and ethical issues that it may involve. So, if you are curious about the fate of the Hubble Space Telescope and the future of space exploration, stay tuned and watch this video until the end. The Hubble Space Telescope is not just a simple camera that takes pictures of the sky. It is a complex and sophisticated machine that has many components and systems that work together to perform its scientific missions. One of these components is the gyroscope, or gyro for short, which is a device that helps the telescope point at different targets in the sky. It measures the rotation and orientation of the telescope and sends signals to the reaction wheels, which are motors that spin to adjust the position and attitude of the telescope. Also, it's essential for the telescope to maintain a stable and accurate pointing, which is crucial for obtaining high quality images and data. However, the gyros are also one of the most vulnerable and problematic parts of the telescope, as they tend to wear out and fail over time. The Hubble Space Telescope was originally equipped with six gyros, but three of them have already malfunctioned and stopped working. The remaining three gyros have also shown signs of degradation and instability, and have caused the telescope to enter safe mode three times since November 19, 2023. Safe mode is a state where the telescope shuts down its instruments and operations, and waits for commands from the ground. The last safe mode, which started on November 29, 2023, has remained in effect until now, and has prevented the telescope from resuming its normal operations. The consequences of the gyro problem are severe for the telescope's scientific output and the ongoing missions that rely on its data. Hubble is one of the most productive and influential observatories in history, as it has made countless discoveries and contributions to astronomy, such as measuring the expansion rate of the universe, revealing the existence of dark energy, detecting exoplanets, exploring the formation and evolution of galaxies, and providing stunning images of nebulae, supernovae, and quasars. It is also a valuable asset for supporting other missions, such as the James Webb Space Telescope. However, the longer the Hubble Space Telescope stays offline, the more we lose the opportunity to learn more about the universe and its wonders. Fortunately, NASA is not giving up on the Hubble Space Telescope and is working hard to restore its functionality and performance. The agency has successfully switched to a backup computer system, which is a spare unit that was installed on the telescope during the last servicing mission in 2009. The backup system is identical to the primary one and is designed to take over in case of a failure or malfunction. It also has its own set of gyros, which are expected to be in better condition than the ones on the primary system. However, the backup gyros are not perfect either and may still have some issues that could affect the telescope's pointing. Therefore, NASA is testing a new mode of operation for it, which could improve their performance and stability. The new mode of operation involves using a higher precision mode for the gyros, which means that they will measure the rotation and orientation of the telescope more accurately and sensitively. This could reduce the noise and drift that it produces and allow the telescope to point more precisely and steadily. However, the new mode of operation also has some drawbacks, such as consuming more power and generating more heat, which could shorten the lifespan of the gyros and the backup computer system. Therefore, NASA is carefully testing the new mode and the instruments of the telescope to make sure that they are working properly and safely. The testing process involves several steps and procedures, such as checking the health and status of the backup computer system, verifying the communication and data transmission between the telescope and the ground, 
calibrating and aligning the instruments and those gyros, and performing some science observations to evaluate the quality and accuracy of the images and data. This process is expected to take several weeks, and NASA is hopeful that the new mode of operation will enable the telescope to resume its normal operations and continue its scientific missions. While NASA is trying to fix the Hubble Space Telescope from the ground, some people are wondering if there is another way to save the telescope from the sky. What if someone could go to the telescope and repair it or reboost it in orbit? This is the idea behind a private servicing mission, which is a proposal that has been studied by NASA and SpaceX, the company founded by Elon Musk that is known for its reusable rockets and spacecraft. This private servicing mission would involve sending a crew of astronauts to the telescope using a Crew Dragon spacecraft, which is a capsule that can carry up to seven people and send them to the orbit. The crew would then perform some tasks on the telescope, such as replacing the gyros, installing new batteries, or boosting the orbit of the telescope, which is gradually decaying due to the drag of the Earth's atmosphere. The private servicing mission would be funded by private investors and would not cost the government any money. It sounds like an exciting and promising idea, but is it really feasible and desirable? There are some advantages and disadvantages of such a mission, and some technical and logistical aspects that it would involve. The advantages of a private servicing mission are that it could extend the lifespan and performance of the telescope, and that it could demonstrate the capabilities and potential of private space exploration. The disadvantages of a private servicing mission are that it could be risky and dangerous for the crew and the telescope, and that it could interfere with the plans and priorities of NASA and other space agencies. The technical and logistical aspects of this private mission are that it would require a lot of coordination and cooperation between NASA, SpaceX, and other partners, and that it would depend on the availability and reliability of the Crew Dragon spacecraft and the Falcon 9 rocket, which are the vehicles that would launch and transport the crew to the telescope. The mission also raises some implications and ethical issues, such as who would own and operate the telescope after the mission, and what would be the role and responsibility of the private sector in space exploration and science. It is not the only option for the future of the Hubble Space Telescope, as there are other alternatives, such as launching a new telescope, or letting the Hubble Space Telescope re-enter the atmosphere and burn up. In this video, we have explained what is going on with the Hubble Space Telescope. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new and interesting. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and family. And if you want to learn more about this topic and other topics related to astronomy, then please subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. Thank you for watching and see you next time.